Thank you for joining Firetide Fishing. On this episode, you will see some of our invited guests fish on the Laguna Madre in South Texas for some large redfish. Joining us today will be Oscar from Finn Attic Anglers Foundation. He is from San Antonio and he won our free fishing giveaway on our Facebook group. Feel free to go check out our Facebook group at Firetide Fishing on Facebook. We'll be looking to do another giveaway once we hit 2,000 followers. So once again, please feel free to show us your love on Facebook. Captaining our vessel today will be TJ Boone from TJ Boone Fishing. He is straight out of South Padre Island, out of Jim's Pier Marina. Feel free to look him up on Facebook as well at TJ Boone Fishing. Thank you everyone for joining us at Firetide Fishing. And once again, keep your tips up, lines wet, and thank you as always for commenting, liking, subscribing, and following all of our material here on Facebook, YouTube, Instagram, and TikTok. Have yourself a great day and enjoy the episode, folks. Good Oscar. Yeah man, we're getting ready. Heck yeah. And then we got TJ, Mr. Boom. What's up? The man, the legend. He's ready to what? Here. <laughs> oh okay. I'm just doing some B-roll stuff. B-roll. Can't make YouTube videos without you B-roll footage. Damn. Throwing uh, the 212 top water with a trailer rig, and uh, we're going to be using a white gulp. And the reason why we're using white this time of year is, is white is a little bit more subtle in the water. Uh, fish are not attacking the, the bait as aggressively early in the mornings. Uh, you know, mid morning is probably when I switch it out. But to start off with, we're going to use a pearl, a pearl gulp with a trailer on the 212. Thank you.
Berkeley's first up. Got that Berkeley Gulf. Berkeley Gulf. What did I say though? What did I say earlier? White, right? Did I say what? Was I was I saying white? Right? I said white. Cheated with a little bit of chartreuse. I just wanted to make sure I said white before we even left. James putting his rod on the floor. Sorry, man. You're the one who's like, get the camera. Fire tide fishing, baby fanatics. We ain't got a net today. I forgot it in the truck. It's a nice red, too. Oh, yeah. I'm gonna show, them, show these people how we do it. Come on, puppy. I'm gonna let you know. Just popped out. Boom. Pop there you go, TJ Boom Fishing, South Padre Island, Fire Tide, baby fanatics. Heck yeah. Holler at your boy. Keep those tips up. Woo. Mine's wet. Get back. Boom. Boom. Jay is on fire. Marker 212 rigs, baby. Oh, yeah, now he's going to run. He's going to run. Oh, yeah. That's a nice beast. So like I said earlier, we don't have the net. It's my fault. It's not here the day we're throwing. Wanna get your underwater phone? Hmm? Sure. Here hooked up with with James. Finally got out here with with Captain TJ and uh, my buddy Oscar from Fanatic. Throwing that belly, <laughs> doing it. Provided by George. Appreciate George, man. Oh, 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 What's going on? Oh, what's going on? It's that belly hoo. It's a belly hoo. It's a big boy. Look at that. Look at that. Oh. He doesn't want to even come back. He doesn't even want to come. Oh, yeah. Oh, he's got a little bit of shoulders on that. Yeah, and he's got a couple spots. Got three spots. We're going to we're gonna have to do a... Now, forgive forgive the captain today. Forgot the net. So, uh, we're going to have to do it like my friend Raymond Otra says. With the manos de hombre. Yeah, he swallowed it. But if he would just stop swimming in circles. Come here, puppy. Come here. Oh, he's going to take off. Hold on. Here, Oscar, get the phone real quick. I got it, man. I got it. Ah. It's really big out there. What are you doing? A video or what? Ooh. There we go. That's how you do it. Oh, it's not a Woo, look at that. Get up, George, man. Y'all want that ballyhoo. Look at that right there. Ballyhoo hoo. As soon as that wind died, RGB, man, we started chucking. Bait masters. Hook him up with the Miss Ballyhoo oil. Nice, you got it? Yep. All right, Pops. Good nice job. Nice. Take a picture. a little bit of water, right, TJ? Yeah, you don't complain about getting wet by the pool, right? No, man. You can't, you can't, 
expect to go to the barber shop and not get a haircut. You know what I mean? Yeah, there so you go. Just like when you get on the boat, you can't expect not to get wet when you're in the water. Laguna Madre, we're working it. It's been tough sledding. Um, keeping sticks down on the ice here, like they say in Canada, trying to work through it. But we got Oscar from yeah, man. San Antonio. Want to say That's hi? It. Hello, everybody. Yeah, so my name is Oscar Castillo. I'm the executive director for Fanatic Angler Foundation. And um, we go around Texas and we put on family and kids fishing events. So back in 2011, we saw a big need for angler education. And uh, I was born and raised fishing and I love it and, and have a lot of knowledge and I just wanted to share it with everybody. And today James is teaching me some things about sticks on the ice. No, I'm not. No. <laughs> yeah. He probably doesn't even watch hockey. So it's like, yeah. For real. For real. <laughs> For real. Unless though. they go two rounds, right? Yeah, sir. Yes, sir. Yeah, so, man. Hopefully everybody's doing good. Yeah. Yeah. What's up, buddy? He's trying to hit all of his social media accounts right now. Oh, yeah. Yeah. How you stay Dude. fed, bro, nowadays. So where can people find you? They can find you on what? Facebook? You can find me on Facebook under TJ Boom Fishing. You can find me on TikTok under Captain Boom One. You can find me uh, Instagram, TJ Boom Fishing. Email, TJ Boom Fishing at Yahoo.com. My telephone number is 956-331-5966. We're open 24 hours. Just give me a call. And you'll try to put you on fish, right? Oh, yeah. That's a game put you on fish, there. man. And you like to launch where? Out of gyms? I launch out of gyms here at the island. Fish all over. Um, it's my sixth year as a guide. I'm licensed and insured. Covered up to a million dollars in case anybody dies. I got your back. Yes, sir. So, so what does Jim's Pier offer everybody when they go out of there? So Jim's Pier is a phenomenal place. It's been around since 1952 and it's located off of 211 West Swordfish and it's right next to the Pan and Marlin Grill, which is also a great place to stop and eat your catch after, you, you know, after you catch and uh, you can take your cook over there or whatever, take it to get cooked. Um, but Jim Spears got ice, they got water, beer, snacks, uh, bait, ballyhoo, live shrimp. And they're one of the only ones on the island that actually has gas in the water. So you can just pull up in your boat and put gas in the boat and then take off. Um, it's a really great place. Uh, the staff is really friendly. Rob, Kat, uh, my buddy Ken, everybody out there, man, they're great people. Uh, everything stays clean over there, you know, and they're not gonna run you off man. Everybody's there to help dude Now there's a lot of great guys that fish out of Jim's Pier uh, If I'm not available or if I'm not a guy that you're, you you think you would want there's a there's plenty of other house guides that are there and um, There's some of the good best guides that South Texas has to offer Right on. Thanks TJ. No problem. Yeah, so the funny story about TJ is he was the first guy I ever went fishing with when I moved down to South Texas and you yeah. see how it happens, yeah. bro. It is, some people go fishing with me, and the next thing you know, they buy a boat, and yeah. you know now they're fishing tournaments and and all kinds of stuff. But that's 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 what we want to do. We want to we want to share the passion with everybody and have everybody grow the industry. There's plenty of pie for everybody, and uh, and and that's what we love to do. Me and Oscar have been doing this for about eight years. You know, going around the state of Texas, sharing our passion with everybody, and there's plenty of room for everybody. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So, what what was your what would be your largest, um, let's say, hurdle that you've had to jump in order to get into fishing professionally? Like, what was? So the whole thing with uh, the I'm going to be honest. Uh, so we've been around for a long time. I I grew up fishing in South Padre Island on the bay. Uh, you know, my dad was fortunate enough to have a boat when I was growing up. Um, so, but the biggest hurdle for me is is just getting respect from other people uh that might not know who i am you know maybe the senior guides uh you know a lot of a lot of us have um came up i guess due to social media and, and maybe people don't know who we are but i put in time since i was a little kid on the water so um i know i'm supposed to be here you know this is where i'm supposed to be at that's it just earning the respect of my peers uh, like I said, I'm a six-year guy. I've pretty much done that and the way to do that is that you want to respect everybody You want to respect their prices. You want to respect and not step on anybody's toes, you know, and uh, You want to work with other work with other people. You don't want to divide Because nobody will want to work with you 100% 100%
So TJ is one of the guys that's motivated me to actually get out and do some fishing. When I first came here, I didn't know anything about the Laguna Madre or anything about fishing, inshore fishing. So he kind of brought me out, guided me along. And even then, when I got my own boat, he was like, hey, bro, just come follow me around. This is what you need to do. This is where you need to go. And, you know, it, those people are, are few and far between out there. And when you do find somebody like that, those are the people that you need to keep around in your small pool for fishing. So keep that in mind, guys. It's not all about fishing. It's about building relationships within that fishing community. And that's kind of what we're all here to do in Fire Tide Fishing is to grow the community, share the community, and get everybody interested and competent to join in you know, the world of fishing and get comfortable with it and succeed. So that's what we're here to do. So what do we got going on, TJ? So uh, we've had some good bites this morning. It was a pretty good solid bite this morning. Uh, but as soon as that wind died, the bite died for us. The cool thing is we got some solid ones on plastics, on lures, and then we got one on ballyhoo. Right now we're trying to trying to entice them and make them come to us with the ballyhoo. Hopefully it leaves a scent trail and it'll get the fish to come at us. Um, Right now we're just waiting for that wind, hopefully to pick back up so we can go smack some more. Yes sir, yes sir. We got some of these lines out here, you can see some catfish biting on this rod here now, but call it pork pond fishing. See if something happens, right? It's not always catching, sometimes it's fishing. Today it's fishing, so hopefully it transpires into catching in a bit here. So there's a will, there's a way. Let's keep your tips up. Stick on the ice, as they say in Canada. Thank you for watching Fire Tide Fishing. This has been another successful episode thanks to our partners. We'd like to thank all those involved in the making of this episode, including TJ Boom from TJ Boom Fishing, as well as Oscar from the Fin Attic Anglers Foundation in San Antonio. Thank you for watching and look forward for more. Thank you.